All right, so another example here using the law of sines. So suppose we've got our, uh, a triangle here. We've got angle 35 degrees, 120 degrees. We don't know our angle beta. Um, the side opposite 120 is 10.45. We want to find the side length B. Well, kind of the same idea. Uh, we know that the angles have to add up to 180. So we've got 120 degrees plus 35 degrees. Well, that would give us 155 degrees. Well, if we take 180 and uh, subtract our 155, that's simply going to leave us with 25 degrees. So our angle beta must be uh, 25 degrees down here. And now we can simply just use our law of sines. So I'm going to take uh, little b over sine of 25 degrees. So little b over sine of 25 degrees. The only uh, side length we're given is the 10.45. So I'm going to use the 10.45 and the 120 degrees. So we'll have 10.45 over sine of 120 degrees. And now all we have to do uh, is simply solve for b. We can multiply both sides by sine of 25 degrees. So that'll leave us with b equals 10.45 times sine of 25 degrees all over sine of 120 degrees. So again now I think this is probably a good place to start plugging things into a calculator. So let's see, uh, sine of 25 degrees So I'm getting sine of 25 degrees to be 0 0.423 um, after rounding. And sine of 120 degrees, um, a sine of 120 degrees, I'm getting that to be 0 0.866 after rounding a little bit. So now we'll simply take 10.45 multiply that by 0.423. I'm getting that to be 4.42035. Again, we're going to divide that by 0 0.866. So when I divide this, so 0 0.866, I'm getting this to be uh, 5.104 for after rounding. So uh, we've now got our, our missing length. It simply equals 5.104. Uh, it looks like we were using centimeters, so those will still be our, our units. Um, so again, that's all there is to it. Just figure out the missing angle. We know they add up to 180. Set up your, uh, your equation using the law of sines. And then it's just a matter of, you know, to, again, to make sense out of it, I would definitely want a calculator to get some decimal values.